This is our portfolio on Pablo Picasso by me, Michael Orlando. And me, Cameron Hicks. So, as we know, he had a very short early life. He was on his own for a long time. He was born on October 25th in 1881, and he was born in Spain, and he died on April 8th, 1973. His family was pretty middle class at the time, and his family was Catholic, so he kind of grew apart from them over time, and he also became an atheist. And his first words were a shortening of the Spanish word for pencil, other words, la piece. Becoming a curator of a local museum and taking many art classes were most of his accomplishments, although he only wanted to follow in his father's footsteps. And his education? Well, uh, since he wanted to follow his father's footsteps, um, his father taught Picasso from an early age, and after his time with his father, he was sent to Madrid's Royal Academy of San Fernandino, but he didn't like the formal instruction, so he stopped attending the classes. After his time in Madrid, he went back to his father to study under him. What was he known for? Well, we all obviously know for history that Cubism, Surrealism, and Expressionism were his main types of art. But he was mostly into painting, sculpting, drawing, and printmaking, a little bit of stage design and writing on the side. So, uh, what kinds of things do you see in this painting? Well, in this painting, I see a lot of things. But the things that stand out most to me is the woman crying and the bright colors. And what words would I use to describe the painting? Well, the painting is sad and emo the painting is sad and emotional. Uh, you can tell by the woman crying. And how would you describe the lines in the picture? The lines in the picture are straight and curvy. And I think he chose the right shapes to make this picture um, actually stand out and. The colors are bright and some are just plain and the painting shows a woman crying. So this painting kind of reminds me of Greek mythology because of the clouds and you can see people in the clouds. It kind of makes you think of the gods in the clouds when you see a picture in mythology. And how is this different from real life? Well, to me it's more of seeing people in memory more than gods being in the clouds, although no one can just float in the sky. So, what title would I give this painting? Well, I would name I would name it the disaster because something obviously went wrong, and the people are in a circle looking sad. And what other titles can I give this painting? Well, I can name it uh, the misfortune, the catastrophe, or the mishap. Anything that um, implies that something bad went wrong. Uh, what do you think is happening in this painting? Well, I think. Uh, some of them may have died and they're just on the beach uh, thinking about it. Or I think the lady got hurt because the father and son are just sitting there looking at her and she's looking down and at her body, maybe at a scar or something like that. And what sound would this painting make if it could? I think it would make crying sounds. You will also hear the ocean water, sad music, stuff like that. Uh, pretend you were in this picture. Well, what would you feel? Um, if I was inside this painting, I think I would be sad and or crying because to me it looks like the mother is hurt and I would also be sad if my mother got hurt. Alright, so what can you tell me about the colors in this painting? Well, to me, other than the blue, that yellow is bright and stands out. And what color is most used? As I said before, blue. The lady is blue and so is the background. What can you tell me about the person in this painting? Well, the woman in the painting, painting seems confused because she has her hand over her face, maybe puzzling something or questioning what she might have done. And what questions would you ask the artist about his, this work? Well, maybe what was he thinking while he made this? So, um, evaluate it. What do you think is good about this painting or is not good? I think Picasso chose the right chose the right colors in this painting. But I think since he's facing the mirror, he should have made the colors on the left and right be the same. And do you think the person who painted this did a good job? I think he did a good job considering that the painting is famous and is very popular. So yeah, that's why I think he did a good job. And what do you think the other people would say about this painting? I think they would say the same thing, but obviously people uh,